Hello everybody. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a list from the contents of this directory. So in this folder here, KSSW, which is one of my clients, I have prepared some handouts because I'm going to run a workshop in Excel. They're all single handouts. I need to create a list, a table of contents. I don't want to have to go and type out all of the, the file names. So the first things first, you just need to go ahead and uh, click one of the files and hit Control A. So once you've got them all highlighted, what we need to do next is right click on the highlighted block of files and copy as path. By the way, um, I'm just going to paste this into Excel, but if you could please su support my channel by clicking like, and um, if you want to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of the tips and tricks that I can create uh, free tutorials for, it uh, helps to support my channel. Thanks so much. Okay, so I'm just going to paste this into a blank Excel document and uh, there's only one option there and as you can see it's pasted the full path of each of those files. Okay so there's a feature in Excel uh, which is very very handy and extremely simple to use and it's in the data tab. Okay so um, I'll just demonstrate how to use it. So the first things first we need to go ahead and select the file name. So I'm, I just want a portion of this string here of characters and I'm going to copy and paste it right here. All right, now the name of this feature is called Flash Fill, and uh, the way that it works is you go ahead and, and give an example of what you're trying to extract from the column directly next to it. You can't have it over here, it just won't work. Okay, so once you've created one example, highlight the rest of the, the corresponding cells next to it, and go to the data tab and you can see flash fill right here. So one click on that and it actually is instantaneous and it does a really good job. Okay, but there is a caution. You do need to make sure that you check everything. Okay, so for the most part it's worked, but you can see here this one's not quite right. Fortunately, it's very easy just to go ahead and alter those ones. There's another one here, uh, the word bombdas didn't actually come through. Well, just by double clicking on that, it actually came through, so that's great. So we're done with this column now, actually. So I'm gonna delete it. And let's go ahead, while I've still got it highlighted, column A, I'm going to sort it from A to Z. And it's as simple as that. And so now that we have all the data that we want, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a brand new Word document and I'm going to paste it right in here. Table of contents and bang, there we are. So there's everything that I want to create um, in my little booklet of handouts, workshop handouts. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove uh, the, um, the spacing after each one of those entries. And that, create, that brings it back to the first page. Anyway, I hope this has helped you out and please subscribe and uh, hit like if this has helped you. Thanks for listening. See you next time.